God well, just likes to fuck with Lucifer, man. man. How's it going everybody welcome back and thanks for joining me again on my television reaction series today we're watching lucifer season five episode five last time on lucifer we had a, a backstory that went back into like the 1940s new york actually a completely different setting because it definitely was not los angeles posing as new york but it was about uh, lilith the mother of all demons giving up her immortality putting it into that ring that you see lucifer always wearing uh that that holds her immortality apparently people were try <laughs> trying to uh to get that ring to be immortal. Uh, the best part of that episode was, uh, I can never think of his fucking actual name in the show, the, the French shower guy. Uh, that dude just fucking perfectly portrayed a rich asshole from that, that time period. I, I, I honestly, I want an entire series of just that guy uh, with, with Detective Douche playing him, of course. This is a good episode, a little fillery, but uh, I'm sure the ring is going to have a major implication for the the whole series so uh yeah that's where we are lucifer has the ring that's right and then he was telling that story to trixie uh um chloe's daughter and then she met with maze in the fucking elevator got paid so was that actual trixie or was she just like hustling the devil i mean if trixie if that was trixie and she's hustling the devil kudos good job kid because who hustles the devil and gets away with it you know let's get into lucifer season five episode five and i said that forty thousand times let's do it lucifer i am ready to talk and is yes, that the beach where where eve went to hell or whatever isn't it like the sword or the knife nobody stole that box gonna fix this. But years ago i faced a similar sense of helplessness so i came here to this very spot this is where i burned my wings as a devil who has learned to embrace metaphors. Hmm. One gift burning another. I appreciate this, Lucifer. This is not what I need. I need time. Don't have time. Tell her, dude. What What don't you have time for? Okay. Unless you just you have to go back down to hell, obviously. I need to speak with you about the detective quite urgently. Thing is, Amenadiel is down in hell waiting for me to return. Yes, I'm aware. Why do you think I'm in such a bloody hurry? Once I relieve my brother, who knows when I'll be back? It's not like I can just leave hell unattended and... Amenadiel. <laughs> he can, though. Hey, Lucy. Why didn't you tell me he was here? <laughs> she was trying. There I was, wandering the corridors of hell. I heard a voice. A voice that I never expected to hear in hell. Who was it? Mother Teresa? Mr. Rogers? <laughs> Adele? Father. Dad spoke to you. God. Adele's not dead, right? What did he say? He told me that hell no longer requires a warden. So I came up here to see my son. Let me get this straight. I just spent millennia down there diligently doing everything he asked without complaint, and you have one sleepover in hell and dad tells you your watch is over. Well, you know the father works in. If you finish that sentence, I will punch you in your mysterious ways. Oh my god. Ooh. God well, just likes to fuck with Lucifer, man. She's been keeping me at arm's length ever since Michael told us she's a gift from God. Wait a minute, does she know that I... What, that you're the one who delivered the gift? No. I found the bitch. Well, hi, Maze. Mm. And good morning to you, too. You found your biological mother. I know your mother abandoned you, but it might help to understand her perspective. Maybe she was too young to handle it. My mother was 12,000 years old when she had me. Parenting at any age can be terrifying. Why are you defending her? Because I get it. Michael got under her skin. You're a great mother, Linda. You would never do that to Charlie. Not Charlie. When I was very young, I had a baby. And you abandoned her. She gave her up for adoption, didn't she? Ooh, that got pretty heavy. <laughs> pretty heavy, pretty quick. Chloe, how are you doing? Did Lucifer send you to see how my gift from God spirals going? Well, luckily, I have this to keep me busy, you know, following clues. Like are they going to be partners this episode? Is that what it's about? <laughs> okay. Well. For now, I'm going to stick to police work and avoid anything God-related. Hilarious. <laughs> this God in this series has a, a weird sense Jesus. of humor. You could call it that. Which one of you found the body? I did. I was the first to leave my cell this morning. Hi. Longtime fan, first time visitor. Well, Sister Victoria did just find out that, that she was being accepted into our order. Shut mm. up the outspoken yeah. ones, just well, like yes, the church, that's right? What God does. Sends me here, sends me there, kills a nun. Just so I can meet all of you. If you can excuse us, that's just we'll be right back. Oh, uh, yeah. One <laughs> What? I could really use your expertise on this case. I kind of wish How it's Lucifer and not a minute ago. Oh, of course. <laughs> Angel. I kind of want it to be Lucifer talking to those nuns, though. 
I don't know if we got that yet. I was just said Amenadiel. They could have had fun with it. Daniel. <laughs> They're gonna yes, be buddies this one. Doesn't want me helping. I need to speed along her work. You for once could be the answer to my problem. Bracelet bros for the win. Regardless. He's still wearing it though. He loves Daniel. How can I help you, Chloe? I do have to remind you that uh, I can't slow down time like I used to. I didn't even know that that was an option. What can you do? Well, I am God's greatest warrior. As much as I love the mental image of you punching a bunch of nuns. What's wrong, sister? <laughs> 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 the issue is, they're freezing me out. You being an angel and all, maybe you could use that. I can't expose myself to them. <laughs> These little bulgies like a mood. Those you nuns would no longer be nuns people? if he did that. Sorry, I... Now get a bucket and a mop, that's so wet. It's like they've got a sixth, sixth, sixth sense. I know he's not the devil, but I like that joke. I got pregnant when I was 17. I spent the entire pregnancy in denial. Even when I started to deliver, I thought there had to be a mistake. We know Chloe's dad. Have we seen Chloe's mom? I don't know how old she is. I don't think she's that old where she could be, possibly be Chloe's mom. Maybe? Who Amenity delivered it to? I don't know. I'm I'm just throwing that out there. Doc could be Chloe's mom. Just a possibility. If so, as the whale says. Put me in the writer's room. <laughs> After the birth, when I held her, I was her mom. I'm calling that. The whole thing seemed like a dream. Your baby was a nightmare. Got it. No, she was perfect. And I didn't have the strength to raise her. And I didn't have the strength to face giving her up. I'm really thinking that's Chloe's mom. Oh. I might just be super high right now. When the nurses were away, I left. You just walked away? Is that why you think you're going to hell? The truth is, Faith, I think about her every single day. I wonder where she is now, how she's doing. She seems good. What? She ain't you talking to us. <laughs> oh, Maze knows? I feel like I can tell you anything. Do you know of anyone who would want to hurt Sister Victoria? Well, I... Do all angels have like I'm a not, clergy sure. power? <laughs> I was about to call Bloody him daddy and not father. <laughs> Thank you. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Yes, it's a secret. But who can lie to those gorgeous eyes? They are dreaming. I can't believe there's so much paperwork for one single convent. I mean, they're nuns, after all. How many interesting things can happen to them? A single convent? These are all just the files on Mother Angelica. What? This is going to take forever. It'd be much faster in person, Daniel. I could seduce the truth out of them. <laughs> Bro, there are 30 nuns there. Doubt that's faster. Well, it's certainly more fun. Come on, <laughs> this is fun. It's like a gigantic puzzle. Only you don't know what the corner pieces are. I like how you or what it's going to look like when it's done. You just described torture. Nothing in the world feels better than when you find that one piece. Suddenly it all clicks together. Oh, hello. Oh, I think I found the piece, Daniel. <laughs> Shortcuts are not the answer, Lucifer. Oh, that's Pays how Chloe off. solves all our cases in one episode. What on earth are you doing here? Chloe asked me to help on a case. <laughs> You're not <laughs> joking. I need this case solved quickly. Much as I appreciate you playing <laughs> Detective Amenadiel, perhaps you should uh, leave it to the professionals. Like the devil? I'm a consultant. Chloe and I actually make a really great team. I can see why you enjoy working with her. I killed a man in self-defense. I fled here to escape retribution. And Sister Victoria found out the truth. She did. I informed her last week. She was so understanding. I didn't kill her. Are you sure there isn't anything else you want to tell us? I can see why my sisters were so eager to talk with you. That's all I have. You have more control than you think, my child. Did you spike my coffee? It's the only way to get through yet another tedious and useless task. You're welcome. <laughs> it's all about paying attention to the details. Well, how about this detail? The detective already <laughs> caught the killer. You sure I'm the one who's not Don't let it go to waste, right? Well, that can't be right. Why? That's Destiny Page's number. No one in their right mind would ignore her. The pop star? Hmm. How would you know her number? Oh, well, funny Never story, mind. actually. Don't want to know. 
Of course, yeah, Lucifer knows a pop star. Oh, as long as Great work, Lucifer. Take that back. <laughs> Destiny Page. So you know the name. She wanted to buy our convent. Do you think she had anything to do with Sister Victoria's death? Why would Destiny Page be calling a nun at a convent that she wants to buy? Her latest album was a testament to a newfound faith, and the one that she's working on now is supposed to continue in that vein. Please don't tell Lucifer. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> she gonna be like a female Kanye West or something? You ready? <sighs> her name is Adriana. Okay, it's not her. I always wondered what they named her. Right. That would've been a really fucking weird twist, but I don't think she's old enough to have Chloe as a daughter, obviously. Hello, great to see you. I can't believe it. Excuse me? That you look exactly like you do on the bus posters. <laughs> this is Linda. She's your potential buyer. So pretty. Oh, thanks. And if you have any questions as we go, feel free to ask. I do. Adoption. What my partner is trying to say is, how's the school district? Personally, I think it's wonderful that you're thinking of adopting. I was adopted, actually. Best thing that's ever happened to me. Really? Do you have a problem connecting with people? Over Wi-Fi? How's the signal? I don't think there's been any problems. How about maintaining relationships? I'm not sure what this has to do with the house. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. Smacked her ass. What are you doing? I am trying to get you to tell your daughter the truth. I can't. It's that or hell, dude. Like You tracked down your mother because Linda. you were ready to see her. But who knows when or if Adriana will ever be ready to see me. It needs to be up to her. Coward. I'm not Lilith. If you have something you need to say to your mother, you should say it to her. <laughs> Wrong suspect, rookie move. I want Chloe to resolve her issues just as much as you do. Why, because you're feeling guilty? Because you're the one who performed the little miracle on the detective's mum in the first place. That wasn't my- You what? <laughs> Obviously she's gonna be in earshot. She just walked out of that fucking door. Years ago, at father's behest, I came down to earth to lay a blessing on Penelope Decker. Okay, so I guess we didn't know her name. Soon after my visit, you were born. And then a deal. This is so You're my dad. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. A blessing isn't a euphemism? Well, not in this case. No, Chloe, no. Lucy, stop. Your parents are still your parents. I'm the only one immune to Lucifer's mojo. So, do you have any powers? Anything cool? That's it. I don't know. Laser beam hands, something? <laughs> no, of course not. They were just concerned with creating the perfect Mrs. Morningstar. Why me? I don't know, Chloe. I felt the same way as you. I realize that it's far from a curse. It's a gift. I only hope that you come to see it that way, too. There is a huge difference, Lucifer. You were given a gift. I am that gift. I mean, I'm not even a person. I'm just a thing. I don't know. I mean, technically, he's her gift, too, because <clears throat> she loves him, and he's kind of the perfect match for her. And now that he doesn't have to go back to hell, presumably, because it's no longer needs a, a warden, they're kind of made for each other realistically, right? That's kind of how I'm taking it. Well, that went well. Give me some life. Well, one, two, three. I'm kind of glad there hasn't been a lot more nudity this season because it's kind of a pain in the ass to censor over that. I need to speak with Destiny Page. Miss Page needs total privacy while she prays. Unless, of course, you have a warrant. <gasps> whoa, whoa, it's all right. I've listened to your music. I know you're a person of faith, so. I'm pretty sure that I should have a calming effect on you. That's right. Hank! He's with me. Well, I thought she might tell me about the murder, given how pious she's supposed to be. But her recent music is clearly just a collection of beautiful lies. Beautiful Was lies. Killed? Destiny, you do not That's have to... okay. Obviously he did That's didn't. why she stopped taking my calls. She's my assistant. You sent your assistant to gather intel? Victoria fell in love with the life. You killed her? She betrayed you? What? You think I killed her? I loved Victoria. Why were you praying when I came in? I've been sober for a month. I guess I should thank you for stopping me. Where were you yesterday at 10 a.m.? AA meeting. <sighs> that half-empty bottle right. doesn't look like you've been sober for a one month. month. What about that one-month chip? I went to goat yoga after. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, Lucifer, if you really want this thing to go faster, you could actually help for a change. Oh. Put it on a sieve and power wash it, man. <laughs> Me. Uh, where's the woman that lived here? Lily Rose, she died a couple days ago. Was she someone to you? Maybe. Uh, can I just have a minute, please? Life was in darkness, afraid of silence, all looking crazy. 
It's not paradise Let the ocean set you free My friend Daniel said he needs his chakras realigned, so I'm doing it for him, really. This is how you help. I'm, uh, what do you call it? Canvassing. <laughs> you were right. I put in the work and it paid off. When I spoke to lovely Amberly here, she confirmed that someone attended class with black hair cut into a bob and wearing a pink hoodie. No shortcuts, Daniel. We just confirmed that Destiny Page isn't our killer. So we're back to square one. So that mysterious Katusha around Victoria's neck, it's consistent with a ring. An engagement ring, which you wear around your neck to stop goats from eating it off your hand. Brace the brooch for the win. <laughs> oh my god, uh, Lucifer's well, a douche. No! I could see why no. <laughs> upset. She had... I've wanted to do this ever since I met you. She Once you admit the something? truth, you are going to be amazed at how good it feels. Never done anything like this before. I haven't either. I'm a woman of faith. Don't do it, lady. You of all people know what you need to do. Right here. <laughs> Don't do right it now. Don't do yes. it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Remember, Daniel, there are no shortcuts. Oh, shit. He actually you doesn't have any power. He's just really attractive. <laughs> like you said, I'm admitting the truth of my feelings for you. That, that's, that's, that's not what I meant. Oh, my God. No. What are you feeling? It's gonna sound absurd, but I feel as if I'm closer to God. Like your love for God is being reflected back at you. I didn't even know that until you just said it out loud. I'm starting to understand something. She did say that she discovered a secret room that no one knew about, and... Secret She liked to go there to be by herself. Seems like the perfect place to meet a secret fiancé. I want us to be together. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get over this. I understand, detective. Take all the time you need. Sacred tunnel. Harry Potter's like, oh, can they come out now? I really wish you hadn't found that before me. I don't think Amenadiel's affected by her. That's such a scam. Victoria thought so too until she came here. She broke up with you and you killed her. I wanted the ring back. I didn't mean to push her so hard. Why would you choose this place over me? We had something real. Instead, she left me for made up nonsense. I think we've heard enough. Very gentlemanly of you to die first. Nope. Just Lucifer. What if it wasn't fake? What if it was more real than even she could possibly know? And you, Hank, you took that away from her. Have faith, Hank. Oh. Hell yeah. A minute he'll use wing attack! It was super effective. I thought you weren't supposed to expose yourself. But for what he did, it felt appropriate. They're all drawn to him. He pulls out people's desires. What if the reason that they're drawn to him is because of that? Lucifer reflects people's desires back to them. Who wouldn't want to be with their greatest desire? But when when I look at him, I I, I don't see that. Which would mean that you're the only will. mortal who sees him for who he truly is. So everything we shared and it's legit. everything I was afraid is as real as it gets. You're not. The gift, Chloe. That is. Huh. That's really nice. That was well put and well wrapped up. Goddamn. Try make him vulnerable. That's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Why cut away from that? I want to hear what that says. What's this? A database release form for biological parents. So that their adopted kids can find them if they want to. It's like bounty hunting for your mother and father. Thank you, Mace. You need to give your daughter the choice. You saw your mother, didn't you? What did you say to her? I didn't get to say that I hate you. I didn't get to say that I forgive you. I didn't get to say anything because she's gone. She died, Linda. Hi, Lucifer. Detective. God, Michael's gonna do something. He's gonna pop in because he hasn't been around. Oh, uh, what, what is he gonna do? Well, I had a uh, interesting conversation with Amenadiel. Please tell me you're not making a police consultant. He has um, a theory about why I make you vulnerable. His theory is I don't. Well, I have many scars to prove otherwise. He thinks that you choose to be vulnerable around me. I choose to. 
be damned. I think he might be right, Detective. Lucifer, if that's true, if you choose, then I choose to be vulnerable around you. I thought something was gonna happen. It's like the first genuinely happy moment of this entire series. All right, that was Lucifer season five, episode five. It was called Detective Amenadiel. That was just a good episode, a legitimately good episode. You had uh, <laughs> Detective Douche Daniel and Lucifer kind of doing their buddy buddy cop thing. Then you had Amenadiel going with Chloe. And uh, again, there's always like these these parallel stories that just kind of combine. And uh, I like that we found out that Amenadiel has this new power where he can, he can reflect people's faith back onto themselves. And that chick was horny for God. Jesus. She was thirsty. She wanted some of that holy water, you know what I'm saying? It's interesting though that Lucifer is choosing to be vulnerable around Chloe. And in that moment, they realize that they were literally not only made for each other, uh, Lucifer was made for Chloe, Chloe for Lucifer, but they, they have the free will and they're not forced to be together. I think that's a really, really good story. Uh, and I'm really glad that nothing got like thrown, uh, you know, like a, a, a curveball at the very end because I, uh, I was like, please don't let her be kissing Michael. That would have just like crushed me. But no, I'm, I'm suspecting that Michael's doing something in the next few episodes. So that was Lucifer Season 5, Episode 5, Detective Amenadiel. What'd you guys think? Leave me a comment down below, give me a like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that fun stuff to see more DFQ in your inbox every week. And uh, I guess that's it for this video, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Take it easy, guys.